Good evening and welcome back to Bloodborne. We are in the lower hinter tomb chalice layer two after a uh, somewhat harrowing boss fight in the last encounter. I barely escaped with my life. I actually, I actually didn't escape with my life. I was murdered horribly, but then I came back and did the easier hinter tomb chalice and the much, much, much easier boss. <laughs> Of layer one, though. To be fair, I think the giant is layer two. Who the? What are you even doing? What is what? Yeah, we'll we'll do this. Yeah, I had a rough go in the lower Thumerian chalice. That boss is just a wall that I cannot get past at all, because he can one shot me. So, if I mess up at all at any point in the fight, when he does his uh, little insta-kill attack, I'm done, and I have to start over, and I hate that. I hate it. I hate it so much. It is the worst. It is the absolute worst. So we're doing the lower Hintertomb Chalice instead. The last boss was... Well, the first boss of this area was a brain sucker. And it was a complete joke. Oh, crap! I forgot to repair all my stuff. We're okay. We're... We're fine for now. We shall be fine. Hello. You're one of the eyeballs grabber ladies, aren't you? Don't worry about me, I will just use an entire bar of stamina to kill you. And that's the enemies down below. Oh my gosh, there's up and there's down. I guess I'm going up first, because that's just kind of how things turned out. Hey, no spiders. I... Uh, oh, and that's one of the crazies. Oh, but he's got the lever. We're already at the lever. Oh, but he's one of the crazy people. I don't like fighting you. You are the worst enemy in the game. That we know of. So far, maybe. Who's not a boss. Oh my gosh! Don't be greedy, 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 don't do anything dumb, don't be greedy, don't do anything dumb, and don't be greedy. Come on, I got this, I got this. Oh my gosh, I got this, I got it. Oh, I hate that enemy, it is the worst. Oh, and he drops the sage's wrist. Oh, because he's maybe a sage. Maybe that's the sage. Maybe, maybe taking their wrists is not such a bad thing after all, because it prevents them from just being crazy freaking maniacs who go nuts with their dumb weapons and horrible attacks and I hate them. <sighs> hey, well... <laughs> Welcome to one of the shortest dungeon layers of all time. There is still the down below, so I guess we're gonna do that. Oh, and then there's also the even more down below, so I guess we could do that too. I am destroying the coffins for three reasons. One, to see if there's anything inside that's going to jump out and attack me. Two, because it's very therapeutic. And three, it's very therapeutic. And it might also be hiding items. Oh, good. All right. You're the lantern ringing guy. 
the alarm enemy. Luckily, I have a super badass chain whip. Sorry, did I say I had a super badass chain whip? I meant I had a super badass fire chain whip. Oh, and it's so good. Okay, apparently my stab just missed. That's no good. That is no good at all. I really don't like how long it takes me to kill all these enemies. Everything would be so, so much better if I could kill them in just like one or two hits. I don't like this area. I never like these areas. There are almost always enemies up above raining fire from the sky or some other horrible, horrible thing. So there's a top, there's a middle layer, and then there's a bottom layer. We were on the bottom, we're now on the middle layer. And I suspect that if we follow this back out the open door here, it'll take us to an area we haven't explored, but it will ultimately connect back to um, the up-down stairs where we were just a little while ago. And that is as much for my own benefit as it is for yours, because I have no sense of direction. I may or may not have mentioned this at some point in the past. Okay, cool. Very cool. I totally dig it. So... I came from one of those directions. I think I came from the other one. That's the start. Okay, this really is the tiniest dungeon of all time. And you know what? I guess I'm okay with that. Is there anything else down here? Oh, this is what I saw. Remember the man beast. I shall endeavor to do so. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go see what the boss is here, but there's probably a secret side path. And it was secret with, like, massive air quotes. Side path? Side path. Yep, here are the side path. Is there, like, another side path here to make up for how tiny this stupid dungeon was? Nope. Nope. And more nope. So, yes. Oh, let's go see what this has in for us. Honestly, this is probably going to be harder than the rest of what we've encountered so far. That's kind of the trend. Usually the side paths, purely in an anecdotal sense, they seem to be a bit more difficult than the other things. Oh my gosh, you're one of the cannon arm guys. Cleaver and a cannon arm and like candles on your back and I don't like you at all. You were... The worst of bosses. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well. Lovely little bit of foreshadowing. Because we're probably going to have to go down there and fight that thing. If we want to get to the treasure. Meanwhile. It's okay, we're fine. He's only going to be making the most horrible noises of all time while I try to explore the rest of this place. Okay, so there's, for like a bizarre twist of fate, there's the upper area with like a ghost lady and everything, and no ladder up, which is unusual for that room layout, in my opinion, which is the only opinion that matters. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, no, no, no! Get 
out of here. Oh my gosh, she almost killed me. Ooh, that was actually kind of very quite terrifying. Um, yeah, YOLO. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh, so good. Tomb Mold 3. And another couple of Tomb Molds 3. And some antidotes. Okay, so that's where we came in. The downward path, I'm certain, is going to lead us to the giant. And I kind of don't want to fight him at all, ever. But mostly just right now, I don't want to fight him. The longer I can put off fighting him, the better. Ooh, hello, camera. That was supposed to be a jump attack. There's the jump attack. Nope. Swing and a miss. There it is. And one more. There it is. So much better than actually fighting him head on. Also, weird blue glowy color from like the candles, maybe, I guess it's assumed. Ooh, we got an inflicted organ. I don't think we have one of those yet. Like we do now. Uh, whoops. Uh, inflicted organ's gonna be down here. There we go. Special material used in a holy chalice ritual. Special body parts collected by the healing church. Oh, I love that. The healing church, and they collect just these bizarre body parts. Because, uh, I don't know. What is this gruesome bait used to lure? That is a good question. The additional right, rotted offering beckons on godly forces. Normally terrifying things, but also worthy prey for a special hunt. We'll deal with these things that are like down at the bottom here, like the eyeball, the creepy fetus, the slug, the wrists, the organ, and the other things. They're all used to add special modifiers to root chalice dungeons. I will probably maybe deal with those eventually later on, kind of, maybe. Oh yeah, there's this. I'm terrified that that's going to be a trap. Oh my gosh, it's another one of you. Before I fight that thing, hang on. Fire, 110. 140 for the bone ash. tanks my blood defense and it tanks my arcane defense by a huge amount. Slow poison, rapid poison. Uh, maybe give it a shot and see if it helps me against this thing. The problem is that when he does a strong attack, he takes off like half my health. So if I get hit with... Oh my gosh, you took off more than half! So if I get hit with two in a row, I die. That was what I was about to say. <laughs> okay. Bone Ash armor is the wrong armor for that fight. Either that, or just, like, there's no good way of dealing with those yet, which is probably the correct answer. What's in the box? What's in the box? Fire! 
four bloodshot eyeballs. Poor, poor four eyes. Okay. So we dealt with that. We went in there. Can we open this door? We can. <laughs> Not a helpful message. There are so many unhelpful messages. It just, it really drives me crazy. Okay, are any of you secret passageways? No. Not helpful, not in the tiniest little bit. I will say, the way the light's shining down there and it's hitting that corpse. Hang on, we'll do this. We'll go back to the entrance. Just give me a moment. Doesn't it look like it's marking that one particular hanging corpse as being important? Like, maybe it has an item, maybe you need to knock it down, maybe you get close and it's gonna attack or something. Like, oh, it just, it's such a small environmental thing that seems very significant and out of place because it's not significant, apparently. I don't know. I see little things like that and I really really want them to be something, but they're not. Okay, we got them down. I think this is where I need to go. Yes, and we went all the way up, so it's time to go down and I guess fight the giant. Oh, this seems like such a horrible idea. I really don't want to do this. <laughs> you legitimately scared the crap out of me. Well done, game. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that was great. Oh... <laughs> uh... Oh, good, and it's more poison, too, on top of everything else. Uh, what's the furniture set? 65%. So I guess we're doing okay. Question is, is there anything else down here other than the giant? And all signs, all signs seem to point to no. That's all there is here. Don't know if I trust that. Don't know if I believe it. I have no reason to believe it, but I also have no reason not to believe it. Nope, 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 nope. Gosh darn it. It's that damn slam attack of theirs. That's so strong. Nope, nope, no, nope, no nope, cannon. No cannon. Alright, we're good. No cannon. Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. I have no idea what the range of that slam attack is, and that's so frustrating because... Like, there's no visible indicator as to whether you're out of range of it or not. I hate that attack. That seems like the most unfair of the normal giant attack. Of course, the most unfair attack of all time is their really, really, really dumb insta-kill attack from the boss. I don't know. I don't... I... 
<sighs> a deep breath. There are very few enemies in the game that I actually legitimately feel are unfair. And these undead giants are one of them. I really, really, really feel like they're unfair enemies. The fact that they can do like the very, very, very quick with minimal tell insta-kill attack it just does like more damage than everything else I do for even less wind up. That doesn't seem fair. That just flat out does not seem fair. The fact that they can do that slam attack that has like, there's no good indication as to whether you're in range or out of range. And it does just such a stupid amount of damage. Also, seems kind of unfair. Nitpicks. I know. But there they are. Oh, hello. I remember fighting you. I don't like fighting you. Because you do crap like that. And you hurt. Oh my gosh, you hurt. And his gun does a crap ton of damage too, and it's a shock. Okay, it doesn't do a crap ton of damage, but it's a shotgun, so it's like almost impossible to dodge. And he's got Ludwig's Holy Blade. That's how you gotta do it. Just stagger the crap out of him. Stunlock, stunlock, stunlock. Oh no, there's two of you now. Forgot about this. I don't remember this fight. I remember killing him though, or I remember, I remember that I did kill him because I remember wearing his armor in uh, New Game Plus. Okay, good to know that the one with like the, the torch or whatever, the flamethrower, does not have much health and doesn't do anywhere near as much damage either. The escort. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Oh, we got it. Okay, good. Hooray! Prey was slaughtered. So we got the lower Hintertomb Root Chalice. So now we can do the randomized version of this dungeon. Which I really don't care about. And if we go back to... The Hunter's Dream, I am reasonably certain that I will be able to spend insight and get that armor set. Which is really cool, because it's just like the plain black robes, but with really creepy tentacles all around it. Oh, and it's so good. It's so, so good. <laughs> I really like that armor set. Um... Yeah, let's keep going. Camera, not being helpful. Cursed Murky Damp La Gem 4. That was a lot of qualifiers on that thing. Eight hundred and fifty-five blood gems, and that is a maniac right there. I really don't want to fight that thing. I really, 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 really don't. <sighs> All right, you know what? We're going to cut this video short. We're going to call it a little bit earlier than usual. Less than 30 minutes. It's kind of odd. What? Very well. Level me up immediately. So this will put me at level 70. I'm going to boost my arcane. I would love to get that to 30. Farewell. 
I don't have any more blood echo items. Blood echo. Cold blood? Here we go. Nothing significant. I'll, uh... I'll use these real quick just to be rid of them. Nowhere near enough to actually level up, but it is far more than enough to actually level up my weapon. By level up, I mean repair. Same difference. It's been a long day. Cut me some slack. I don't want to hear it. All right, insight. What can I buy? Lead elixir, pungent blood cocktail, fire and bolt papers, shaman bone blade, bloodstone shard, twin bloodstone shard, bloodshot eyeball, and the madman garb. Most tomb prospectors, members of the healing church chosen to explore the old labyrinth, are unable to withstand the weight of the old knowledge and go mad. This attire is worn by those lost souls. Truth oft resembles madness, inaccessible to the dull of mind. Those who go mad are merely thoughtful souls who failed to reach any conclusions. Oh, you have different things. So the madman's garb. Da, 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 the appendages draped across them are said to be a kind of protective charm. Or at least that is what these lost souls believe with all their hearts. Those are the same as the hood. Yeah, no, uh, creepy tentacles draped all across. Yeah, no, that it's just it's uh, it's it, they're good luck. They're they're protective. They keep me safe. Don't worry about the fact that the tentacles. They're it's okay. Everything's okay. It's all fine here. We're fine. We're totally fine. You know what? Let's check those out. I got Gascoigne stuff going on right now. Henrix is kind of my default armor set right now. So this has uh, much less physical and specifically blunt defense. So we're officially vulnerable to blunt. But we have more arcane and fire defense and our bolt drops down. Our bolt defense is still pretty high. Like 110 is still a pretty good value. But uh, Henrik's garb is just like stupidly resistant to electricity. 150, 110, that's still pretty good. Uh, more poison resistance though, which isn't surprising, I guess. 52 for Gascoin, so we're still more poison resistant than Gascoin's garb. How about the church garb? It looks like we're gonna be less, yeah. And also, uh, we're super duper duper ultra crazy, incredible, weak and vulnerable and pathetic in the face of frenzy. So that's going to be bad in the long run. But for now... So we got the very dapper top hat. We have the creepy tentacle things draped around us. Uh, I've just got whatever pants, and I've got Henrik's gloves. So we've got a mix of everything, but mostly I like the fashion souls of having the weird tentacles draped around me. <laughs> I really like that. For whatever reason, it's one of my favorites. Okay, so to wrap up the episode, I am done. I'm going to buy blood vials to get us over a hundred. Yep, I'm fine with that actually. And do I wanna, yeah, we'll buy a bullet. Just one. I'm stocked up on pebbles. I'm stocked, uh, I have more than enough shining coins considering I'm never gonna use them. So I'm fine with all that. And uh, yeah, so more chalice dungeons. Um, gotta deal with all the crazy stuff going on in the Hintertombs chalice again. Boy, I really, I'm getting so sick of fighting those crazy madman sage enemies. They're <laughs> really obnoxious. Anyway, thank you for joining me, and more Chalice Dungeons next time. May the good blood guide your way.